Hi everyone, myself I am Harsha, I am Pega Trainer at Harsha Trainings and in today's video I am going to explain clearly about what are different security roles that are available in Pega and what is the purpose of each of the security roles. Also give, going to give you clear idea about what is the production level uh, in the system role, uh, how the production level role is going to uh, participate or play its role in the security roles like uh, role to object and privileges and in this video we are going to cover the total all security rules uh, and give you a clear idea about access group access role names access role to objects privileges access when and access deny roles so before we proceed to the video so if you are a new user to this uh, channel please don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you have any questions related to Pega, if you want to understand any topic or you have you are already attending interviews and if you wanted to uh, get answers for the questions that are been that you have faced during interview you can post your questions in the comment section of this video and apart from this if you are looking for any career guidance you can post your queries in the comment section of the video and please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video so now let's get on to the uh, respect to topic video. Thank you. See what are the security rules? What is it all about? I will tell you one thing. One requirement I will tell you first. Business is asking you uh, there is one flow in a flow, there is one assignment. At the assignment, there is a flow action. Business is asking you that when managers execute the flow and when work object reaches the assignment. The flow action should be displayed. Flow action should be displayed. Similarly, when users execute the flow and when they reach out to that particular assignment, it should not be displayed. You can implement it by using decision shape, circumstance, all this. But this is not giving you a requirement in the sense of just to not display. Imagine I have an assignment that is routed to user one, manager one. Did I tell you about uh, absent process? Okay, first I will tell you absent process. Based on that, I will tell you the requirement. See here, in an operator profile, just hold on. This is 8.7. I am trying to explain on the same. No need to go to 8.6. Yeah, this is 8.6. Just wait, it is a little bit slow. Okay, see here now. Um, this is a operator profile. I want to open operator operator profile. I want to why I'm not able to open. just hold on. Otherwise, I'll log in back again. See in the operator profile, if you go to work tab, if you go to work tab, here you have unavailable from. This you can make use of it during routing process. See, I have routed one assignment to an operator, manager one. Manager one is on leave for next to 20 days. We do not want to wait till next to 20 days when manager one is on leave. When manager one is on leave, it should be rerouted automatically to manager two. So you need to choose in the operator profile unavailable from 15th of this month to 30th of this month. For example, during this period, any tasks which are getting assigned to this particular operator should be rerouted to substitute operator. This is also called a substitute operator concept. So who is that operator? Let's say manager two. What is this? LIC 
Okay, some operator, it can be anything. Another operator. Okay. If you route an assignment to operator one during this unavailable period, that will be automatically reloaded to another operator, whatever you mentioned the operator. Understand everyone clear? This is substitute operator. Now, see, for example, I have routed an assignment to manager one. He is absent. He has chosen user one. User one. It got routed to user one. But business wants this assignment to be not visible to user one. In case this is not the only way you route, there are different ways of routing. See here, rerouting. See, user portal, I think it will not be available. In the manager portal only it will be available. Dashboard. They changed a little bit coming to Pega 7. The appearance they modified, but not everything. I'm just checking for one option called bulk access. Bulk actions is not available here. Okay, leave it. Imagine there is an assignment that is routed to operator one, who is manager one. Manager one has rerouted it to op user one. As per the business, the assignment which is being rerouted should not be accessible to user one, means that proaction should not be visible to user one. How to restrict this now? How do I restrict? Even though by mistake an assignment is routed, the respective flow action should not be visible to that particular person. How do I manage to do this? Okay, that is, you see here, I'll go to open a flow action. In a flow action, under action tab, you have something called under security tab, privilege. Where does this privilege come into picture? I'll show you. Whoever is having this privilege, though the, the only that resources can access this flow action, others cannot access. Similarly, when rule is also okay, but when rules you are already aware of it, right? Okay. This is one place where security rules come into picture. What are the security rules? First of all, so in the security concept, there are different rules. You know already one rule, access group. You are aware of it. Then just now I have told you one more rule. What is that? privilege another rule i'll write down in an order access rule access group access role name access role to object privilege access when access denied these are very very important to understand it is very easy actually but people uh, they never get chance to work on these things hands on. That's why they feel it like difficult. It is not at all an advanced topic. This is a basic soft pega. Many people think like security is advanced, but only thing is you will never get chance to work on security only for one, one reason. That is, these rules will be created on the initial setup of your application, starting, starting. Scratch from the beginning when your application is being developed, these rules will be created by your tech leads not by you that is why a ground level employee low level employee i mean like uh, the uh, third phase uh, third level employee like a developer or senior developer they will not get chance to work on security rules that's why they ignore to learn that's why they feel it like something difficult or uh, something which is uh, uh, what do you call uh, a advanced topic and all but it is not advanced topic what is an access group you are already aware of access group right Okay, business is telling there is one report definition. That report definition should be accessible to be executable only in development environment, QA environment, because we are doing it for some testing purpose. But this report is like a uh, like a dependent report for another one. But when I take this report, otherwise I'll tell you this way. Uh, like there are different operators. What are the operators? Develop admin, user, manager, last inspection team also there, right? 
there is one report that should be accessible to manager but not to last last inspection team how do you manage this this is not by vendor rule this is by privileges this has to be handled by using security rules there is one flow this flow should be executable up to uat but not in production production it should not be executable this is what business is saying how do you manage this this is not related to vendor rules and all this is related to again something related to security rules any users okay there are okay now i am talking about only one type of one access group operator so far but in all the access groups you have so many operators right irrespective of their access group based on some condition the condition is if the respect to operator if the respect to operator is of diamond operator diamond category diamond category see in the developers also we have diamond category admins users also diamond category users are there managers diamond category managers are there loss inspection diamond category higher level these people are there then how do you manage this only diamond category people should be able to see this particular form not everyone else then how do i manage this this is also by security okay so security rules helps you whether the respective rules to be executable or not executable to specific access group related operator or to specific set of people of irrespective of access group like this you want it to do an access control control over accessing some rules so if you want to control the accessing of rules to some specific access group operators are commonly different access group operators only some set of operators if you have any such situations you will be depending on this uh, security rules those rules are access groups role access role name access role to object privileges access when access when before we discuss about all this i have to tell you about production level what is it that is system rule i have to tell you about system rule which comes with prpc as a package when you purchase prpc product you will get system rule already available see at the very beginning while we are learning about draft flows we have seen one warning message what was the warning message what was the warning message for a draft flow draft flow should be off draft flows suppresses most of the errors however draft flows will be not ex non executable in production server how many different environments we have basically four what are those development qa uat production i purchased a license from pega systems i installed software on four servers i i thought of using first server as development second one as qa third one as uat fourth one as like apart from these four one more can be available practice case study case study server also on that also i have installed i know that which server is for what purpose but how does pega which is installed on the system knows about this is development or qa or uat i have a flow when i execute in development server draft flow executable same flow when i install when i when i move it on to production server that is non executable how does pega knows this is production server how does pega knows this is development or qa or uat how does pega knows i know as a human being my software pega prpc product how does it knows this server is production server this server is uat server this server is like this how does it knows for that we need to know about one rule called system what is the rule type when you install pega this rule will be automatically there along with prpc this is otp rule by name system this rule was there when you install prpc on five servers case study server development server qa server uat and production this rule will be there with value 2 2 meaning that development server first server is the red right? case study on that server you log in open this rule change the value to 1 sandbox means case study server practice purpose 
Second one, development, right? Leave it as it is because already two is there. Third server, QA, right? Log into the QA server, change the production level to three, quality assurance. Log into fourth server and change the value to four. And log into fifth server, change the value to five production. That is how, at the time of executing anything, reading this value, PRPC knows it is being executed in development, it is being executed in QA, it is being executed in live or UAT like that. Everyone clear with this point because your security rules depends on this production level. Everyone clear? Online resources. Everyone clear so far? Yes. Okay. Touch again, if you need again. Yeah, I will repeat again. What I was trying to say is after you install Pega, the value of this particular drop down in this rule, you will change. Why you are changing? You label to the server side development QA. How does system knows which one is development based on this value? Make sense? So at the time of executing, the server system value is PRPC system value is five. Pega understands that server is live server. If the value is four, Pega understands that server is UAT server. Like that, Pega knows that. Okay, as a human, you know that. But system, how does it know by this value? Now you see here. We already discussed about operator file, operator to access group, access group to application, application to rule set, rule set to rules. The other direction, operator, access group, portal, harness, section, controls. There is third direction. The third direction is operator, access group, after that, you see here access role name access roles sys admin four means developer sys admin four means developer suppose you have some other things like user four what does it mean user level of access see when manager login reports report to your option is available but when user login do you have report to your option go and access user portal in user portal on the left hand side you do not okay now they are providing 8.7 but previously you don't see report report browser for users is not available previous 8.6 but now they are providing it seems you can try in your laptop how this is made visible invisible it is see it is not for one user it is not for one access group anyone with user suppose i have 10 applications 10 applications and different user access groups will be there right in future you create any user operator also, any new application also for users report should be invisible. I cannot achieve it by one rule simply. I have to achieve it by role name. What is the role for users? User Anyone having the role of user four, I wanted to make it invisible. That is by visibility, but in the visibility you are not using normal one rules. You are using access when rules. I will come to that. That is related to security rule. So now look at here like this access roles will be there if you open access role it is very very important to understand because all these rules are one rule will be called in another rule okay it is not being shown up here i will just hold on i'll go through dependent and show you maybe how many levels i have to go i don't know till i get something loaded here i will show you because it is calling one one access role name from another access role name like that access group access group will have access roles access role will have see here oh my god wait i will just minimize this little bit hold on i'll change it to 100 110 at least see here row one okay one row is there go below row two row three how many rows are there in each row does it have numbers in each row does it have any numbers first row is a bigger one because so many privileges are there i'll come to the privileges column later first you need to focus on entire row one row here is equal to one access role to object 
I will draw a diagram. You will not be able to understand otherwise. What is there? Bigger one. What is it? Access group. Access group. Inside access group, what do you have? Access role name. How many roles can be there? N number. It is not only one. You can have n number of roles. Access role name means access role role will be there inside access role what do you have access role to object one object two access role to object see each access role to object that is being added here is specifically related to base class. On base class, if I have given, what does it mean? This role to object, whenever we assign this role, whenever you are going to, okay, I'll show you here diagrammatically, just hold on. This is the role to object, I'm giving it base class. And I'm giving this one is only uh, data dash. Hmm. See, I have created two role to objects. One is base class, it is there in, with base class. Another one is there with data class. These two role to objects I had put together into one access role that is called in access group. This access group is there for operator one. When operator one is accessing a role, whatever the actions that are permitted in this role to object, till base class it will be allowed. I'll tell you, look at here, for example, Imagine, uh, look at here. All flows, all flow action. What does it mean? All flows are executable. Just understand like that as of now. I'll tell you where, where it is written as executable. Or not. All flows execution till base class from current class for this operator is allowed. Whoever is the operator having the access, respect to access group, which has this role with this role to object, any flow from his current class to till base class he can execute no issues understand all the flow actions that are there from current class to till base class he is allowed to access no issues this to everyone clear but all flow actions till base class is allowed but something here i have given data dash right in this role to object i am giving only flows of data class what does it mean any operator with access group of this one will be able to access only data dash class or parent class of this will be accessible below that will that be accessible below data dash data admin operator id you created a flow you are trying to access it i will you be able to access or not not allowed this also should be false see for some business reason you are going to give it i'm just telling you as an example you wanted to prevent accessibility of certain rules only up to some classes, not every other class. Usually flows we will give access to every class. All flows at all classes will give till base class. So now here you go. Inside roles, you have role to object. Okay, I will go inside each of this. See here. I am going to open role to object here. This is the role to object. Hold on. This is the role to object. I will try to click on this. This is the role to object created. First, you create role to object, add the role to object into role, add the role, in, role into access group, and the access group into operator. Operator, I mean, okay, operator, access group, access group to access role, role to role to object. In the role to object, what are you giving? What are these numbers you are giving? What are these numbers you can guess and tell me? What are these numbers? These numbers are related to? Just a few minutes back, I told you. Production server. Relate, related to environment, server, production, system rule, production rule, production level. It is called as production level. Listen to me carefully. I have given base class and I will tell you the best one. Execute activities is there, right? Execute activities. 
any operator whose access group has this role role to object he is allowed to execute access activities up to server 5 what is server 5 means live server right if i have given number 5 when you go to activity and you execute it you will be allowed to execute activities in sandbox server development server qa server uid server live server all you are allowed to access five means five and below you are allowed understand online resources clear every one of you five doesn't mean only five five any number you give that number and below number you are allowed make sense now based on this you tell me i have given execute activities three okay we, we don't have so many servers here we have only one we cannot test it that's the only one problem execute activities i have given how much i created one activity in sandbox will i be able to execute that activity or not yes i moved it to development production level is what in development development production level is 2 sandbox is 1 in the productions in the development server will i be able to execute activity any operator who log in with this access group will be able to execute or not yes same is moved to qa production level is 3 able to execute or not same activity it is moved to uat any operator with this access group and try to execute activity will they be executed or not no they will not be able to execute what is the reason execute activities for your access group with related production level is only 3 4 and 5 you cannot access understand so similarly see this will be discussed once again it is not completed only with numbers i am just putting back whatever it is there all flows 5 all flow okay all flows 4 all flows related role to object is there right imagine i have given 4 i created a flow in sandbox development qa uat will i be able to execute the flow or not even though it is a draft or not no matter non draft flow only but i have taken this non draft flow into five server five will i be able to execute or not because the value is four only all flows i have given how much four then it will not be executable in five server where on the server pega is installed which has the production level five it will not be executable that is how i want some rule to be executed only in specific server up to some servers by the operator who are having the access group that is a requirement but not in all servers then what should i do i should go with this access role to object specifying the numbers all activities all reports like this read instances relate instance i'll i'll tell you one more thing i'll give you one requirement based on this only you need to tell me see here read instances write instances delete ins instance means you can understand any rule including work object any rule including work object my in my prpc for every operator like all developer operators all developer operators when they open the rule uh, which is unlocked version they will say delete button or not usually for an unlocked version for an unlocked version i want okay i'll i'll tell you one requirement on the subject what is been done because all this you need to understand from the real time perspective with the business requirement i have a rule decision table i want business users to be able to modify decision table without coming to dev studio understand requirement how how can i achieve this i told this practically how to achieve this online resources Rule delegation. How do I achieve this? Rule delegation, perfect. Rule delegation. What is the rule set in which usually you will be keeping delegated rules? Which rule set it is? What is the rule set in which we are going to put the delegated rules? Online. Oh, production rule set production rule set will be locked for its versions are unlocked unlocked right if it is unlocked version when business people when they log in they will be able to open the rule and check out and modify it 
where do how do they open the loop configuration tab not only check out button they will also see delete button do they see delete button or not is there any possibility by mistake they click on delete button enter some information and then confirm it and the result rule will get deleted is there any such possibility or not yes or no is there any such possibility yes or no business users they click on delete button and delete the rule instead of check out by mistake they click on delete and do it possibility is there or not there it is possible by mistake right business is saying that you delegate the rules make sure you unlock the versions but delete button should not be visible in live server up to uat even you delete no matter uh, we can do it live you delete that will be a big problem production business will stop delete button should be invisible in live then what should i do now for every operator with any access group i need to add a role to object where delete instances is equal to 4 every operator it is not possible they will not see delete button but i want for developer but not in live below versions i want below versions you have delete button are not not a big deal but in live even developer login also you do not give access to delete button in live that is what business says delete button should be invisible you give delete instances 4 then what will happen the delete button will be invisible in the in which server live server but uat and qa it will be visible this is how business will give you requirement based on the requirement you need to go through creating access role to objects now business is saying something different it is not about only live either okay in uat as well as live delete button should be invisible then what should i do delete button should be visible invisible in uat and live but all other versions all other servers it should be visible then what should i do email delete button should be invisible in live as well as uat then i should give the value as 3 okay business has given a requirement in development in uat delete button should be visible but all other remaining three it should be invisible how do you manage this in development and uat delete should be visible but remaining three it should not be visible then what should be the value this doesn't work out this numeric value doesn't work out understand so here we have to deal with another type of rule to be chosen here i'll tell you okay so far you understand production level for role to object in the role to object access role to object we will be giving a production level number whatever the number you give that particular server and below servers it will be accessible for the respective action execute activities delete delete instances execute reports create rules write rules means modify rules delete rules read rules or instances work objects deleting work object creating work object reading work of then all this accordingly you need to provide understand next everyone clear about role to object where would you call the role to object rule you create a access role to object where do you call it you call it in access role where do you call access role access role access group where do you call access group now whoever the operator having this role to object his access level will be managed for the respect to environment by role to objects role to objects will not only be having only production numbers it will be having something different i'll tell you see here access group access role name role to object everyone clear with these three this is one role to call in another role that's it next one is access when access when i'll tell you not a privilege access when i'll take privilege at, i'll take at the end See, you know about when rule, right? You know about when rule. What is the instance class of when rule? When rule is instance of which class? Rule, rule of which? When. Similarly, access when is a different rule. Access when is an instance of class rule access when. What is it? Rule access when. It looks like when rule only. It looks exactly as a when rule. But instance class are different because the per 
purpose of using it is different. Okay, look at here. You create all this rule under security category, okay? Create security, what is it? Access when, access when, when, when. See, in interviews, they may ask a question. We have when rules, right? Then why Pega again comes up with access one, access when rule, which is same as when rule? Just see now. Is it same as when rule or not? Why do you have, again, for writing when conditions, why do you have, again, both? See, at the time of calling, these particular rules somewhere i'll show you when rules will not be visible i'll show you i'm adding a condition the condition is production level you remember imagine the property name is dot system system prod level i don't remember the exact property name is equal to to development is equal to and the uat na uat only these two should be accessible, but not other. Your number one, two, three will not work out, correct? There in the access rule dot. A or B? A or B? I have created like this. What is the name? I have given SFT of something. Now I go here. I will be going here. These properties are not there. What is the property for production level? Just hold on. System rule production level property. Okay, I just imagine it is created. I, I don't want to spend time on finding this. You go here, you don't need to give number now. What is the reason you are not you are not giving number? It is not in an order. Business is not saying develop uh, sandbox development QA. This is saying development UAT should be accessible. You should be able to delete instances, but other you should not be. Then you call this access when rule. Here in the drop down, these are not when rules, these are access when rules. And at runtime, this acts, delete button will be visible. When this condition is satisfied for a production level of two, four, either a two production level or four production level, delete button will be visible. Remaining all, delete button will be invisible. That is the advantage or purpose of creating access vendors. When in case production level doesn't work out in a sequence, then how do you handle? You have to handle by access when rules. See, your condition may not be all means whether the customer, uh, someone should be able to access a rule for deleting or creating or reading. It may not be always dependent on the production level number. It might be dependent on some other condition also. I told you so far. So business is saying, irrespective of production level, customers, where customer type is diamond, Okay, only those people should be able to access irrespective of production level. Then how do you handle production level doesn't work out in the role to object, right? You need to create which role? Role to object inside role to object, you need to create access when and call it. And this is a condition that gets executed at runtime. Only those who satisfy this condition, they will see delete button. Other people will not be able to delete it. It is not visibility condition for your information. This is this doesn't deal with visibility condition. Though it looks like visibility at the end, but it is an access level you are giving. Able to delete or not? Understand? So this is about, even though delete button is visible, you click on delete button, it says you do not have respect to access to delete instances. Understand? I told you delete button will be in, invisible for better understanding. Even though delete button is visible, you click on delete, it will throw an error message. You do not have the necessary access for deleting the instance. Like that, it will throw. Understand? So, this is about access role to object and access when. Moreover, I'll tell you, look at here. Moreover, you should be able to call, okay, in the access roles, right? Here, you are calling access role to object. And in the role to object, you are giving production number or you are giving what? Uh, access when rules. You can also call privileges. See, scroll down. Do you have this? Add here a privilege. You can call a privilege. I'll show you a privilege rule. Okay. Under security category, create sysadmin 
where is it anywhere you see that i'm sorry not sysadmin security security privilege test what is there in the privilege there is nothing you are going to call the privilege role inside role to object for testing purpose i'll create one see here i'll open this privilege you created a privilege inside privilege this is role to object privilege is called inside role to object role to object will refer to privilege both are same actually okay i mean like both will be called in each other like access group or oh, sorry work group work basket work basket work group right same way role to object will call privilege when privilege is added in role to object simply when you call privilege role in role to object it is going to it is going to show the respect to role to object inside a privilege after creation okay for example i'll show you you need to wait a minute to get it get it done first i'll create in a security in a security under security category i am creating access role to object by name my role to object my ro1 ro in short we call what is the role name it is asking okay i have to create a role name right right click on this create security access role name okay access role name is my role name one okay i am creating it in version highest version or somewhere create and open is there anything to choose here is there anything here you click on plus icon also you will you not be able to add anything i'll show you i created and i saved it right leave it as it is now i am creating role to object it is asking me what is the role name click the down arrow you are linking role to object with role name you are linking role to object with role name and the class is this one and the class is this one make sense everyone clear create and open in the role to object i am giving everything 5 5 like this and save this um history tab i'll write some content you need to wait for some time it will not be done quickly you need to wait for some time role to object at the time of creating role to object did i choose the role name did we choose the role name now you go back to role name where is the role name close this close this close this close okay I'll keep it open i'll go to role name is role to object this one is role name right this is how it is blank refresh it once add it up one role to object i link to role name what is there in role name role to object is reflected in role name this role name where would you be calling you will be calling in access group access group access role name access group access role name access role to object i create already access group is there imagine i created a role name role to object link it together whatever i added in role to object is reflected in role name role name i have called in access group there is one more called privilege in access role to object you may add numbers or you may call when condition that is okay now privilege go to role to object privilege tab is there i am calling a privilege here i will open and show you the privilege also what is the production level 4 now whoever is the operator has an access group with respect to role name having a role to object if they have this privilege having this privilege action assign means you have the ability to assign to someone okay just wait a minute now also it will be reflected here reflected or not is it only one 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 privilege you can have no you can have multiple privileges what are those execute all flows you should be able to execute all flow actions all flows up to which level 5 here it is 
but only assigning from one person to another person should be only up to UAT. How do I manage all this? In the role to object, I will be adding privileges. Whoever the operators are satisfying this privilege, they see any operator with an access group having this particular role name will be able to execute everything up to all five versions. But again, one more restriction. What is that privilege? Flow actions, flows you can add, you can execute everything up to five. Assigning a task to someone, you are being routed with some task, you want to reassign someone. Is it possible in version? I mean, I mean like in production, is it possible? Up to UIT, it is possible. How come it is being decided now? It has been decided by privilege. Understand everyone clear? So, privilege is a separate rule which decides up to which server it can be done. Only some specific action, not everything. Now, imagine there is an operator. Operator 1. One more operator, operator 2. Operator 1 has access group 1. Operator 2 has access group 2. I'm sorry. Access group 1. Access group 2. This access group has a role name which has a role to object, which has a privilege P1. This P1 says execution of flows for, what is that? For, that is the privilege. Now, here you go. I will remove this here. There is another operator. Who is that? Operator 2. Access group 1. Access group two, role name in that role to object, some role to object, another role to object. In that, there is one privilege called P2. And in that, execute flows. Three. Now you tell me. Both are, okay, access group, I'll, I'll make sure it is different access group. Okay, different access group. Okay, when operator one, operator two logging, up to what, which server they will be able to execute flows? Up to which server? Operator one will be able to execute up to four server. You waiting? Operator two, only three server. QA. That is QA. Okay. Who has decided that here? Which rule has decided that? Which one? Other way around, you can use privileges like this. Look at here. You go to flow action. Okay. This is the flow action. In the security app, I'm calling privilege P2. Imagine. I'm calling privilege P2. At runtime, this assignment is routed. The respect to flow action related assignment is routed to operator one as well as operator two. Both have. Both have locked in. Both are opening the assignment. Imagine both are open. What about operator one? Is he going to see the flow action? Yes or no? Which operator out of P, uh, out of operator one and two here on this notepad? Both of them have got this assignment routed. Maybe same object or different object, no matter. The assignment has a flow action. In that flow action, privilege P2 is being mentioned. Which operator out of these two will be able to access that flow action and see that? Which operator will see that? Operator? When one. operator one log in, any point in time for operator one, if the flow action, that respect to manager flow action is loaded, it will not be displayed because he doesn't have any privilege to see that. This privilege, what is being called on the flow action, is not in matching with operator access group privilege. Understand? That is how privilege is going to help you. It is not only at this place. You go to report definition. In the report definition, also you have privilege. I want to prevent the accessing of a report definition or a flow action, only some specific set of operators, not to everyone. How can I do that? I have to make sure the respect to privilege, whomever it is being access, uh, it should be accessible to be added in the flow action or report definition. Only those operators their access group role to object has the privilege, they will be able to access the respect to rules. Understand privilege, everyone? Privilege can be commonly used in role to object, can be independently used directly on the rules also. 
Understand? On the rule, if you call a privilege, any operator who is having the matching privilege only will be able to access the rule. Otherwise, he will not be able to access and see the rule. Make sense, everyone clear online resources? Everyone have to clear? That's why it, I told this is a little bit tricky to understand. It is not one rule standalone always. This rule depends on another rule, another rule like that. Everything is together. Okay. This is about privilege rule. Okay. Next step. Or what is it? Access denied. There is another rule called access denied. I will show you access denied. Uh, it is very easy to understand. When you understand role to object, it is very easy to understand access denied. At the time of creating access deny also, it will ask you access role name. See here. When I am creating access role to object, it is asking access role name, right? To be linked. Similarly, at the time when I am creating access deny role, it will ask me access role again. Some role I have chosen. Like access role name, I have chosen something. Create and open. You see, this is similar to a production rule. I mean, like your access role to object. Is it similar or not? Is it same or not? It is same as access role to object. I told you one requirement. Uh, any operator who log in, they should be able to execute activities. Up, uh, sandbox, development, QA, that's it, QA. Then what is the role to object number you will give? In the role to object, which number you will give? Three you will give, right? Business is giving you another requirement. Any operator who log in, they shouldn't be able to access the role in three, four, five. One, two, they should be able to access. In three, four, five, I don't want them to access. How to handle this? In three, four, five, I don't want them to access. How to handle this? How do you handle in three, four, five? You'll be giving. I am asking a question reverse simple. You'll give the value to one, two, it will be accessible, three, four, five, it will not be accessible. Right? I want someone to be able to access. Just hold on. I, how do I tell you this? Uh, execution of the reports, if I have given three. They will not be able to execute the reports in three version. Access denied in the three server. Server number three, that is system rule production level is three. If they log into three, they will not be able to execute the reports. Understand? Everyone clear? Two, one also they will not be able to access. Four and five they will be able to access. This is reverse. See, anyone who log in, they should be able to access four, five. But three, two, one, they should not be able to access. Is it possible by access role to object? In a role to object, you can give access from current server to below. Correct? But above servers only, I want them to be able to access. Current and below, they don't should they should not be able to access. Is it possible by role to object? It is not possible. So instead of role to object in the access role name, you call access denied. In the access deny run the reports, I have given three. What does it mean? Anyone who is having the respect to access group of role, that role has this access deny rule, they cannot run the reports three, two, one, but they can run the reports in four, five. Understand? Exactly reverse of role to object. Make sense clear? Everyone online. Do you understand role to object everyone clear? Sorry, role to object. What is the difference between access role to object and access deny? What is the difference? Access role to object. If, for example, in an action role, access role to object, if I give the production level three for run reports, users from server production level one, two, three will be able to run the reports. Four and five will not be able to run the report. For the same, if I create access deny rule, 
users from server 1 2 3 will not be able to run the reports but 4 5 will be able to run the reports reverse how do i achieve by using access deny make sense so these are the rules which we create during security concept see business is giving you one requirement this is the flow everyone log in they are able to execute this there is one user one specific user for him he should not be able to execute the flow he should any version irrespective of this how do i manage this you go to the process tab of the flow what do you have start condition they are giving when rule right this when rule if i give a is equal to b anyone who satisfies a is equal to b let's say operator access group is equal to abc only abc access group people will get the run option remaining people will not get this is okay when rule is very simple but business is not giving a requirement like this irrespective of access group all days here you can give people privilege b1 only the people with the respect to privilege should be able to access others should not be then how to achieve you mentioned the privilege here only people whose access group is having this privilege in their role to object privilege will be called right only will be able to access this flow otherwise they will not even see this flow in the new menu create menu understand clear so this is this is how privileges will help you to call the privileges to use the privileges on independent roles is it possible to call access role to object in independent rules no access role to object is complete access group level access deny role to object are access group level privilege is it is access role to object level as well as independently i can take it on to the rules any rule if you have a facility to call privilege at the execution time this privilege will be matched like matched against the respect to operator access group role to object related privilege if it is there in the list allowed otherwise the respect to rule execution will not be allowed understand there is one otp when rule also operator has privilege this when rule is there i can use in a visibility condition double click on some ui visibility you call this when rule operator has privileges see this when rule whenever you call look at here uh, i'm i'm sorry this is a function not a value this function will take two parameters name of the privilege main parameter is only one uh, you know this one right not uh, when rule i'm sorry this is a function in the visibility condition can we access functions expression builder functions yes or no you have expression builder right on right use the function has privilege in that you mention a privilege p1 any operator when they are trying to access that ui if the operator access group has the privilege p1 then only that will be visible otherwise it will not be visible that is how privileges can also be used in the visibility conditions of ui this is how security rules are going to restrict the execution read write read write execute delete all these actions up to the production level or reverse to the production level like access deny or by using independent rules by privileges execution will be controlled and also by irrespective of production level if i want to achieve that i need to depend on access when rules like this all together security rules you need to look at while understanding okay access when itself you can make it separate but remaining all rules are related everything access when you call or not depends if you have a role to object you may have access deny i'll tell you one example in my operator's access group i'll take two more minutes hold on in my operator i have an access group in the access group i call two roles role one role two in role one i have role to object in the role to object run reports i have given three means any operator with row with this particular role name having role to object of having value three for run reports will be able to execute reports in server one server two server three correct everyone clear so far one more thing is one more role to object i have added oh, sorry one more role name i have added in this role name i called access deny rule 
not role to object. I have called access deny role. In the access deny role, I have given I have given run reports three. What does it mean? Four or five, he will be able to access, but three to one, he will not be able to access. Both are conflicting or not? Contradicting or not? In the first place, I am telling one, two, three should be accessible. Run the reports. In the second place, I am saying four or five to be able to run. Both together, he will be able to run everything, right? But see here, stop access checking once relevant access role to object instance explicitly denies or grants access. Don't bother about it. I'll tell you. See, you have two things now. Two role role names you have in an access group. One role name has role to object. Another role name has access deny. Both are contradicting. Which one will take priority? Whichever the order you add will take the priority. If one is satisfied in in one direction, further any contradicting things will be ignored. When you select this checkbox, when you select this checkbox, one, two, three accessible. Further, it, it go here. Four, five only should be accessible. One, two, three should be not accessible. But I have selected this checkbox, right? Then which one will be considered out of these two? Out of these two, first one will be considered. Understand? Second one will be ignored only for that specific access level. Imagine I did not select this. Then how does it works? How does it works? Remember one thing always the negative rules will take priority over the positive rules. Means always access deny will take priority over access role to object. So if I am not selecting which one will be granted, only four or five will be granted. One, two, three will not be granted, even though that is added first. But if if I have any situation, I want to verify only first one to be satisfied, next to be ignored. I should select this checkbox. This question will be asked sometimes. Okay, everyone clear? So this is about security rules that you will be using. You may be, you will never get chance to create for sure. 99.99%. See, you will not be able to understand so easily when you look at the security rules, just one in another. You need to take individual rule each one separately adding and then each individual you just take your time watching the video two to three times then only you'll be able to understand otherwise it is not so simple this last point what we have discussed will be asked i have added one row two access roles in a access group one role says execute activities another role says don't execute activities which one will take priority don't execute will take priority, but I have added in an order of execute activities and don't execute. I want execute activities to be taken priority. Then select the option of stop access checking. At least once it is satisfied for one reason. Other reasons you don't bother. That's what you need to choose. Okay. Either positive or negative, which comes first, that should be taken priority. Checkbox should be selected. You don't select checkbox. Always which one will take priority? Negative will take priority. Okay. So we will continue tomorrow uh, for today we can wind up. I will make this video available at 1.30 p.m. or 2 p.m. Okay. Thank you. Kamanda.